WNBA on 2K Sports. Welcome in, everybody. In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Sparks against the Seattle Storm. With Brian Banifatemi and Tim Schwartz, I'm Blake Suniga, and we're thrilled to have you with us. Well, when you look over the rosters of these teams, lots of experience. How important is having veterans? Well, experience, you just mentioned, it takes time and it allows players to recognize offenses, defenses, different sets, different rotations, and you really can't throw anything new at older players. Yeah, and I like how the seasoned veterans are able to help develop younger players. They are huge for any locker room because they can impart a ton of wisdom. Here's Cooper, back to Powers, and she Area lays it straight in. Assistant. Laser focus from Powers the bump, not affecting her shot. Outside Stewart. It's good, and she makes her first shot of the game. Ran her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Out to the wing. Pass to Ball Queen. Hits it from three-point range. Three Look, the defense, they got to talk to each other. Clearly in air, not getting out there on her three-point attempt. Outside Wheeler, now Magbegor. Outside Lloyd. And so she earns a trip to the line. The official saw the contact. You know, that's the speed on Lloyd's drive that makes it so tough to contest her shots and helps her draw the foul. Well, when you look at the Seattle Storm's dominance over the last few years, it just would not be possible without the stellar play of Jewel Lloyd. That's what I call pretty passive. Timely recognition as to where the open teammate was. Pass to Stewart, Lloyd. Stewart with the screen. And here's Samuelson. That falls. Oh, nice speed that time from Jewel Lloyd. Lloyd. And Lloyd's development has been fun to watch. She continues to improve each and every year in the league. And Blake, I mean, that improvement from Lloyd, it is scary for the rest of the league. This team is already as dangerous. Tall. And one of their better to. players is Lloyd only Jessica. getting better. She had her head on a swivel and was able to still pick up the pass and get the assist. Screen by Stewart. Pass to Magbegor. Wheeler. Inside. Here's Samuelson. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly to the layup. That takes tremendous focus. Samuelson has elite shooting ability, which means she scores when it's hard. Here's Tolliver. To the right side. Here's Ball Queen. Another three for the Sparks. That's too much space to give a shooter like her. She worked hard to get that space, but the defenders have to work harder. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first quarter. Vader on the way. The shot off that time, and it's the Sparks the other way. Pass to Cox. Makes it off the glass. Height, athleticism in the paint. Lauren Cox has almost every advantage. Throw in touch, too. Now Samuelson. 
Now here is Lloyd. And here is Stewart, defended by Ball Queen. And that one's good. Stewart. A shot like that is in Stewart's comfort zone. And that's just a result of her determination and really more so her confidence. Now here's Powers. Ball Queen, defended by Stewart. Pass to Cooper. Over to the left wing. Ball Queen. That shot off. And the storm going the other way now. Outside Wheeler. Out to the wing. Here's Samuelson, defended by Ball Queen. A good look for Christy Tolliver. Another Christy one Tolliver. falls for the Sparks. The efficiency of Powers passing is great. Delivers the ball straight to a wide open shooter. Pass to Magdagor. Samuelson. Here's Wheeler. Sweet little floater. The teardrop is one of those, oh no, oh no, oh yes, shots. Stewart comes with the double team. Over to the wing. Here's Cooper, covered by Lloyd. Beyond the arc, and the Sparks, another three. One aspect of their play today that's been far superior is their passing. And that kind of flow, it can be elusive, uh, but the great offenses have it. And that's just what they've shown tonight. Now here is Stewart. It's Jewel Lloyd with the drive. Can't hit it from 12 feet. Yeah, she's not necessarily a strong interior presence, but she's got to finish those chances when she has them. You can tell she thought that triple was going to fall. She's just shaking her head after that miss. Samuelson, defended by Ball Queen. Pass to Lloyd. Wheeler. And again, Seattle with the triple. Well, Wheeler's three ball has come a long way, and her improvement also helps her team space it. Outside Powers, Oliver with the ball. Out to the right wing, here's Ball Queen, and they come right back with their own three-pointer. Great three-point shooting here out of the gates. That four makes already from long distance. They're just scorching the nets. I mean, how long do you think they can keep this up, Tim? I don't know, but uh, the defense has to get better on the other end. Now here is Lloyd. Back to Stewart. Wheeler. She's covered by Tolliver. Six to shoot. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line. To first personal foul. Teams first. Christy Tolliver picks one up. Continues to improve as a free throw shooter. But if Wheeler gets too many looks, she'll do damage from the line. Now Wheeler, she's got some serious skills. Whether it's a creating off the dribble, a deadly pull-up. Uh, she's a great passer as well. Now here's Ball Queen. He's got 12. Takes the three. And the Sparks on another three. three. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over again. They might have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. And Wheeler gets it done defensively as well. Yeah, and, and that's because of her quick hands and her quick feet. Because of those things, Lord. she can stay in front of ball handlers, and if you get too loose with the rock, she'll pick it and go the other way. Outside, Stewart. Back to Lloyd. And it's Walker with the rebound. Yeah, remember that. And that's not an opportunity. She fails to convert very often. The basket by Ball Queen. Are these teams, they, they don't look like they belong on the same court today. I don't think they do. A double digit lead and we're still in the first? Ouch. Right, I hope this one gets closer. Jeez. Pass to Magbegor. Wheeler. To halt the run. Ball Queen with the rebound. The left wing. There's the triple. The basket is good. The assist by Lauren Cox. Well, they're getting their points now almost exclusively from three-point range for their last five makes from beyond the arc. Timeout and the defense the practically giving them those shots. And they'll take them. The 
Sparks making a switch here. Carlton and they cash in right away with a quick shot great communication on the inbound play she got into good position and the pass was just right on time and on target here's Vadiva for three her first shot is a miss so for one to start the contest left side Wheeler Buries it down low. Wow, did she ever sell that pump fake well? Worked to absolute perfection. Here's Vadiva. Stewart comes with the double team. Ball queen. Defended by Stewart. And the three ball is good. Arella, They've given up so many threes today. Their defensive rotations on the three perimeter points. have been abysmal. Outside Wheeler. Pass to Stewart. 11 feet out. Doesn't go for her. And the sparks the other way now. And here's Ball Queen. And the sparks another three. Four three. And that's what built them the early lead. Killer shooting from beyond the arc. And the defense needs to recognize that and get out there on those shooters. Bronto buries the long range jumper. This quarter has brought out the best in her, and even though they're still trailing, she has been impossible to contain. Try to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Burt, back to Wheeler. Screen by Stewart. Erica Wheeler drives in, and it's blocked by Maria Vadiva. <laughs> And can't hit the shot, but they're saying she got hacked. First so she'll head to the line. First. Third team foul. And it'll be on Ball Queen. Shooting it's the final Seattle. game of the year, Spence so let's get into playoffs. For two. What are you looking forward to the most, Tim? I just love how the WNBA sets up their tournament. The best part, of course, the single elimination games. I mean, I don't miss one second of those. Yeah, those winner-take-all games are just fantastic. I can't wait to see how the rookies do in their first postseason. Who's going to step up under the bright lights? And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. From outside the arc. Yes, for basket number nine. She's missed only two shots from the floor all night. That's a dozen straight points coming off of threes. Yeah, they're having free range from beyond the arc. The defense is, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, non-existent. And they've built a very nice lead. No signs of uh, slowing down, at least as far as I can tell. Vadiva to the wing, right side. And the Kayla basket by Ball Queen. Three. Boy, Ryan, that's five straight made three-pointers. The defense giving up a barrage. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide open threes, but they just aren't figuring it out. You go out there and tell them, Brian. Okay, maybe I will. How about that for a response? We'll give you a three, and then we'll take it right back. Turning into a three-point contest. Los Angeles foul. Oh. Maria Vadiva. First personal foul, team's first. Third team foul. Here's Wheeler. And Erica Wheeler gets double teamed. Burt, the basket good off the assist from Erica Wheeler. What vision from Wheeler, IT'ing her teammate all along, getting it to her. To the wing on the left. Out to the left wing. Another three for the Sparks. And their offense already flowing. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. They're getting great looks, and they're capitalizing. You know, they have to be pleased with this start offensively. Chuck up two right there. It makes it so easy for your teammate when you can lead her to the rim with a pass like that. Pass to Walker. 
Ball queen. And the Kate Sparks Lucas. another three. Four, three. And you can't help but, but really pick on their defense. They're completely in disarray. Everything's coming much too easily. I mean, you've got to take something away. Here's Burke. And again, Seattle with the triple. Oh my goodness, she is really feeling it from three-point range now. All of a sudden, it seems like she just cannot miss. And the basket by Ball Queen. Now they're off to an incredible start from long range. Yeah, lighting it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. Here's Wheeler. And the storm, another three. So skilled offensively. Not only does Wheeler create for others, she creates for herself. And as the Your first Seattle quarter wraps team. up, already a double-digit lead. The Sparks on top, up by 16. And we'll be back in just a minute with the start of the second quarter. Get ready for the Deer Squad! And we'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move into the second. And quite a position here for the Sparks to be in. What do you guys think? I mean, what is this, practice, shoot around? It's just been a shooting drill so far for them. You're talking about practice? I mean, yeah, they haven't met up a whole lot of resistance on the offensive end. Pass to Magbegor. Floyd. After two misses to start the game, she's on the board with that shot. Offensively, they've dialed down the three-point attempts here in the second. I'd actually like to see them go back outside. They've been shooting well from long range. Yeah, Sinks the triple. Her ball distribution has been outstanding. Yeah, Tim, all you have to do is look at the numbers. Those assists do not lie. And they keep piling up. Now here is Lloyd. Over Cox. And it's Lloyd missing. Well, I mean, to me at least, Brian, it looked like it was going to be an easy two points there. You're right, Tim, and she's got some angry words Lord, for herself boss. after that miss. Well, when they Lord hit her Jessica. with the double team, I, I like that awareness she had to just know that one of her teammates was going to be open. Here's Wheeler. She's got 15. Pass to Samuelson. And here's Carlton. Clock at four. Here's Wheeler. The three. That one's off. She's made five and missed three now. Right wing. Here's Ball Queen. Another three for the Sparks. Three points. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. Just phenomenal ball movement. Everyone's looking for the best shot, and it's paid off during this run. Now here is Lloyd. Shot's good by Samuels. Honestly, that might be the last player on the floor you want in rhythm. Can't let Samuelson get comfortable. She'll burn you. And the basket is good. They've done good work with the ball. They've been uh, moving and getting quality chances. And their field goal percentage reflects that. They've been the much better team shooting the ball. And it's not just about shooting, Brian, as we were just mentioning. It's about moving, cutting, all the little things. And she's all alone on that one. The defense has not done a good job of getting after her because that's her second three-pointer this quarter. Pass to Cooper. Ball queen. And the Look Sparks, another three. Strong work for her at the offensive end, helping them sustain this lead. Outside Lloyd. Samuelson, guarded by Walker. Outside Wheeler. Pass to Carlton. From the arc. Yes, and a nice assist from Erica Wheeler. The rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. I wasn't sure they should try to get the three right back like that, but hey, it worked out for them. Now here's Ball Queen. What an incredible scoring display she's put on tonight. Cooper. Now Ball Queen from deep. And the Kate Sparks, Lucas. another three. Four, three. I wasn't sure she could keep up the pace she set from three-point range in the first quarter, but she has. Wow. And just over three and a half minutes played in this second quarter. 
Here's Magvagor. Misses the layup. Smooth sailing for the Sparks. To the right side. Ball queen. And the Sparks another three. She has shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves. To the paint. And she converts the layup. That's just an agile play from Lloyd in the paint. Navigating the traffic and finding her shot. The tray. And the basket by ball queen. Well, they can't ask much more of her than what she's done this quarter. Outside Lloyd. Wheeler. Now Carlton. Five points in the game. Outside Wheeler. Baseline jumper. Ball queen with the rebound. A good board there, but overall, they're getting slightly out rebounded. And they've just got to find a way to get back into this game. That's as good a place as any. Just increase the effort on the boards. Now here's Walker. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. That shot Four. wide open. Smart pass by Walker. She sees a wide open shooter and gets them the ball. And Jasmine Walker, the number seven pick of the 2021 draft. The former Tied player, first time since 2000, an Alabama player was drafted in the first round. And the basket by ball queen. That's Four two three. bombs in a row from long range. They're starting to heat up. The defense has stepped slow. They've got to take away that airspace. Here's Samuelson. She's got 11. Pass to Carlton. Now Lloyd. To the inside. That's in, and she's now three for three and looking sharp. And with Jasmine Walker, she's a very strong shooter for a forward her size. And that makes her deadly as a screener. Rolls well towards the hoop, and she's great in flare screens to punish a defender that's sagging off. Well, you just can't give her that kind of position in the post. When she gets in that good of a position, it's just so hard to stop her. Here's Magvador. She's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. And it's stolen by Ball Queen. Miller, another three for the Sparks. She was one step ahead of the D in making that pass. Nice assist. Outside Lloyd. Pass to Samuelson. Wheeler. Outside Lloyd. Sparks foul. Miller, first personal foul, teams first. First team foul. Samuelson, Powers covering. Outside, Stewart. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires for three. It's hauled in by the Sparks. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that one. Very steady work they've been doing on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. And what a performance we're seeing from her. Not one miss today. Remarkable. Here's Samuelson. Powers covering. And here's Samuelson. He's got 11. Pass to Lloyd. Shot clock at six. Here's Magbagor. She's covered by Cox. And the storm miss again. Yeah, she's been off her game this quarter. Just hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go down. And the Sparks, Lord. another three. I mean, come on. You can't allow clean looks from deep like that. Hard to win games that way. Yeah, most teams will take you to the deep end and drown you with triples if you let them. And that's what's going on here. Samuelson. And a great assist by Brianna Stewart as that one goes in. The three-pointers are starting to add up. That's her third of the quarter, and it brings her to four on the game. Back to Cox. Launches a three. And Jewel Lloyd pulls it down. And here in the storm now. Erica Wheeler drives in. Cox with the rebound. 
It's going to be tough for them to trim this deficit if she continues to miss those kinds of shots. Gets it to go from downtown. I can't believe it. They cannot forget about her like that. She's not going to miss that open look. Stewart with the ball. Powers picks her up. Stolen by Powers. To the middle. And Cox gets it to go. She is just tearing it up this quarter. And I don't think this lead is going to go anywhere while she's this hot from the field. Here's Samuelson. She's got 14. Magnagor. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Great ball movement to the open player. Samuelson with her head on a swivel. Down low. Here's Cox. Gets number nine to fall, and she's only taken 10 shots. Here's Seattle. Pass to Wheeler. Back to Lloyd. Now here's Wheeler. Back to Lloyd. Yes, and a nice assist from Erica Wheeler. Every team needs someone who makes those around them better. And Wheeler's vision puts her in that category. Now here's Ball Queen. Defended by Stewart. To the middle. Let's the three fly. And the Sparks, another three. The D has gotten a little lax defending the three-point shot at that end. Yeah, three of the last five baskets they've allowed coming from beyond the arc. Now here is Stewart. Samuelson, Powers covering. Now here is Wheeler. And it's Seattle scoring again. That's her sixth shot this quarter. She's only managed to, to knock down one of them. And Cox gets Lord. it to go. Again, it's Cox. She's the type of player that can have a huge night without dominating the basketball. Pass to Magbegor. Lloyd. Here's Samuelson. 14 points for her. Wheeler with it. Over ball clean. And it's Seattle scoring again. A smart decision maker in the pick and roll. Wheeler certainly reads the floor well. To the inside, Cox. And she Boy, finishes Cox. nicely on the layup. Goes to Four of their last Logistic. five makes came off a high quality shot inside. And that's right out of the textbook. They are having their way down low right now. Now here is Lloyd. And there's a pick. Inside. A nice shot by McLemore. Unselfish play from Jewel Lloyd right there. She's all about getting the ball to uncovered teammates. To the paint. Here's Cox. Soft touch on the glass. They're passing the ball very crisply right now. Their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. Pass to Wheeler. Stewart. Good on the bucket. Please, please don't take your eyes off her because she can make plays from multiple spots on the floor. Cox, terrific Lord assist Cox. and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. She's made the most of her chances, hasn't she? She needs to keep on working to get these good looks. There's Jewel Lloyd with the three. Jewel and the three. storm, another three. And the ball handling moves of Jewel Lloyd are just so Your clever. Score. She has no problem getting Los creative Angeles. out there. And so a pretty lopsided game through the first half. Sparks ahead, just dominating this one. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going. Hello and welcome back. Third quarter just about to get going in what has been a runaway of a game so far. We're seeing a great performance by Ball Queen. Quite simply, she's been terrific. This is just what they need from her. And a double-double in just one half of basketball? You can't ask for anything more as a coach, teammate, or fan. 
And welcome back as we begin the second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, but anything can happen. Pass to Stewart. Brianna Stewart draws the double. Shots good by Samuels. Well, I think she, she owes the three-pointer dinner. It's been her best friend today, no question. Well, it has been today anyway. I mean, look, most of her points have been courtesy of the deep ball. Now here is Cox. Here's Ball Queen. And a great assist by Christy Tolliver as that one goes in. She's doing everything for them right now on the offensive side. No matter what the defense has done, she's had an answer. Erica Wheeler drives in, rebounded by Tolliver. With the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be. And that's firmly in the driver's seat. Rebounding, it's an effort stack. Uh, they've been the more determined team to this point. What a role model you know, Lauren Cox is for so many young girls. A type one diabetic, Cox has organized fundraising events to help raise awareness for kids who share her condition. Now here is Lloyd, he's got 11. Stewart up top, Wheeler. She can't get that one to fall. And it's the Sparks the other way. Down low. And Cox gets it to go. This is a nice third quarter surge they've got going on right now. Yeah, and it's a great time to get hot just as we get into the meat of the second half. Absolutely. Build some distance. Try to get things going. Wheeler. Good on the three-point shot. Oh, it's a good thing she showed up today because without her, they'd be in deeper trouble. To the middle. And she uses the glass on the layup. Of their last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is smash mouth basketball, guys. Yeah, they're really imposing their will offensively and getting exactly the kind of looks they want. Here's Samuelson. He's got 17. Here's Floyd. And it's Seattle scoring again. You don't see too many players anymore score from this area, but, but Lloyd has an old school feel to her game. And Cox gets Lloyd it to go. Cox. Those defenders look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're just getting pushed around on the low block. Maybe coach has got to make a substitution or something to energize his team. Well, they better rally soon. They've given up three straight buckets in the paint. Now here's Wheeler. He's got 22. Seats the three-pointer. This is one part of Stewart's game that has evolved. She's put in a ton of work from beyond the arc in her WNBA career. Now here's Ball Queen, defended by Stewart. Here's Cox, and she banks Boy, in the layoffs. They're beginning to just fall apart defensively, especially on the interior. Yeah, they're crumbling like a cookie right now, and that's four straight field goals they've allowed from within touching distance of the rim. Now here's Cox. Magogor, no good. They've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers, too. Yeah, it's there been a gritty performance and a physical Three. brand of basketball, but hey, that's how you win. Bring your lunch pail. Pass to Samuelson. Screen by Wheeler. Inside, it's stolen by Lauren Cox. Let's go with a three, and the Sparks another three. Oh, at the level of Shooter the Powers is, letting her catch and fire, it's not a recipe for success for the defense. To the inside, back the door. That falls, nice move that time from Cool Roy. Nice low post offense. Now here's Ball Queen, defended by Stewart. That one falls. This defense is getting eaten up on the inside, guys, giving up far too many free runs to the rim. And they haven't been able to return the favor. Their offense in the paint hasn't been up to par. Here's Magnador. She has six. Here's Lloyd. Rebound by the Sparks. 
to the middle. Here's Cox. And she takes it in for the layup yes, off a very nice feed. Boy, not a lot of resistance inside, and they're taking advantage. That aspect of this game, uh, the, you know, the play and the paint, has gone almost entirely their way. Absolutely. Here's Samuelson. And she lobs it up. Out of bounds, it'll be the Sparks ball. The ball There's no excuse Boston. for that turnover. That's just a straightforward Sixth pass gone Sparks. wrong. Both teams deciding to change it up. Ball queen with the ball. Non-stop scoring machine here. Here's Vadiva. And the rebound Maria, paying Vadiva. off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Their rebounding has been off the chart today, guys, and that's the number one reason why this game is out of hand right now. Exactly. Their lead is not surprising, given their advantage on the glass. And it's good for two. She's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. She can bring them back into this. Pass to Cooper. Ball queen. Cans it from downtown. I mean, she scored most of their points herself. Her offense is a big part of her team's recipe for success. Now here's Wheeler. She's got 22. Uses the glass to finish the layup. But when she's got the ball, Erica Wheeler, always probing, always in attack mode, always looking to get to the rack. Here's Garantes. Here's Ball Queen. Another three for the Sparks. Three points. What an exhibition she's putting on today. This is about as hot as you can get. Pass to Stewart. And out of bounds, the Sparks will take it. Sparks ball. Substitution for Los Angeles. up a three. Ball queen with the miss. Seattle with the ball. Now Wheeler. She's got 24. It's rebounded by Vadiva. The D was ready for her that time, and they had to be. She is strong in the paint. Here's ball queen. Drains it from beyond the arc. And they are just killing them with the three-point shot here in the second half. Yeah, and the defense knows it. They are fully stretched out there trying to stop the three and still haven't been able to do yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know defensively what they can do different at this point. Here's Carlton. She's got seven. Over Walker. Five to shoot. Spins. Here's Wheeler. No good there. And it's the Sparks the other way. To the left side wing. Here's Ball Queen. And the Sparks. Another three. What's got into her today? This is getting ridiculous. It's been several possessions since they've converted. And they've got to find a way to change that. To the paint. And it's going to be a three-second call. Three Boneheaded play, guys. Sparks ball. Plain and simple. And mistakes like that are sparks. going to make it very hard for them to get out of this hole. And that's part of the reason why they're in this hole. The Sparks making a switch here. Guarded by Wheeler. And the Storm with possession. Outside Lloyd. And here's Burke. Pass to Carlton. Here's Nelson. Five on the clock. And here's Lloyd. 
from deep three-point range. But they get it back. Now Burke takes the three. They grab their own miss. Count it. So far, going for more of an inside game here in the second half. Now here's Balkley. Takes it from 10, and Cox gets it to go. Where does Cox not score? Here from the mid-range, she can step back and hit a three, step in, score in the paint. Incredible offensive talent. Here's Carlton. No good that time. Nice D from Ariel Powers. Sparks getting another bucket right there. An efficient score. When Power sees there's some space to get her shot off, she does not hesitate. Here's Lloyd. Ball queen with the rebound. And we made our way through just over a minute and a half of this fourth quarter. They've been very sound offensively in the second half. And there's really no comparison between the teams in terms of the way they've both shot the ball since the break. And you kind of wonder what was one team talking about in the locker room and, and what was the other? And the basket by Lloyd. A good look there and she didn't waste it. Her second three of the game. Inside, here's Cox. Gets herself open Boy, and nice. drills it. Another good pass, impressive offensive execution from them. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance. Four straight field goals made off an assist. Here's Burke. Pass to Stewart. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Back to Stewart. Over ball clean. Stewart misses. A little over two and a half minutes have passed by now here in the fourth quarter. Yes, it's good. Look at the focus from Cox on that play. No distractions, it's just her and the buck. Here's Nelson. Pass to Lloyd. The layup missed. Now here's ball three. Tight defense on her, and she comes up with the deuce. They're going on a nice little run here. And getting to the rack has been the key. They're getting point blank looks time and time again. Here's Carlton. The Sparks grab the miss. Covered by Lloyd. Here's Cox. And the shot goes in. Their crisp passing has opened things up offensively. Yeah, it makes the game easy. Ten straight points off of an assist. Um, that's impressive. Here's Burke. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Here's Nelson. She's covered by Cox. Here's Powers. Ball queen up top. From past the arc. And the Sparks another three. And as they continue to dominate, you wonder just how much higher this lead might get. And it really could get out of hand because their defense has been just as excellent as their offense. Great overall game. Here's Burke. Back to Lloyd. Stewart with the screen. Two in the drought. That's good. It's her seventh three basket and 14 tries. That gives her her second three of the half with three total for the game. Down low. A good Lord finish at the rack off the Assistant slick feed. Logeski. And that keeps her at 100% from the field this quarter. Pass to Carlton. Out to the right wing. Here's Burke. It's not going to go for her. Now the Sparks take it the other way. Out to the wing. Here's Ball Queen. Another three for the Sparks. For three. Well, they've built this lead through plays exactly like that. She's easily been the most consistent performer. No question about that. I mean, she's just hitting everything in sight. You just assume she's going to knock those down when she's as open as she was there. Cox, right side. Here's the teardrop. The rebound by Burke. 
just stay closer. I mean, really, that's all the defender had to do there. It's stolen by Cox. And they're on the break. Covered by Lloyd. That shot off the mark. Outside, Stewart. Here's Carlton. Powers covering. Pass to Lloyd. Outside for Stewart. The shot's good on the assist by Drew Lloyd. Look, the catch and shoot jumper is never easy. And since Stewart is confident in her shot, she's never afraid to take him. And Cox gets it to go. That pass into the paint was dead on target. Outside Lloyd. Pass to Stewart. Over to the left wing. Stewart with the screen. Inside. Tries again. And the layup is up and in. You know, she's having a nice quarter. Scoring with confidence. So it's the Sparks now. To the middle. Here's Cox. Banked Lord in Cox. off the glass. Assist she's got a lot of Lucas. firepower right now. What a half she's having. Outside Lloyd. Outside Stewart. Back to Lloyd. From downtown. And the score. Another three. She's really getting it going right now. We know that she got one earlier, but she has a three in this half. Here's Ball Queen. Another three for the Sparks. How about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Yeah, terrific little back and forth right there, Tim. It's been a lot of fun to watch. Now here is Stewart. Oh. And the shot goes here down. Stewart, yeah, late reaction for the defense. She's always going to convert that. Now here's Ball Queen. Defended by Stewart. A uh, little oh. shot fake there and got the D out of position. You can give a defender fits if you're consistent with the turnaround, Jay. Pass to Lloyd. Launches it. And again, Seattle with the triple. Yeah, Lloyd is simply rolling right now. She can really run up the scoreboard when she's feeling it. Cox. Up and in on the layup. That pass led her so perfectly, she didn't even have to break stride. Outside, Stewart. And she makes that one. Another high scoring night for Stewart between her skills and really her mentality. It was like she was engineered to get buckets in this league. There Count go. that one. That's assist a heads up play right there, guys. Lujeski. Not just on the assist, but also on the finish. Lloyd with it. Pass to Burke. Here's Nelson. Lloyd from long range gets a three-pointer to fall. Her scoring this quarter has been off the charts, doing all she can to bring them back. Lloyd comes with the double team. To the paint. Ripped away. To the wing on the left. Here's Burke. Powers covering. Outside, Stewart. Lloyd. Screen by Stewart. Let's it go from deep. Kept alive. Yes, it's good. She's made two for everyone she's missed. That's 10 of 15 in the contest. Pass to Ball Queen. To the inside. And she was camped there in the lane. And she gets the three second call. Substitution for the Sparks. Outside Wheeler. Now here is Stewart. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Back to Stewart. And 
it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. So many accomplished players have come out of UConn over the years, but Brianna Stewart, she's right at the top of the list with all those great players. And with Stewart, her list of achievements when she was at UConn is amazing. You could say that again. In her senior year, she won just about every major individual award in Aurora, college basketball. Garantes. But forget about those honors, because this is a team game. And she led the Huskies to four straight national championships. That's all you really need to know about Brianna Stewart. Here's Samuelson. And the layup's good off the glass. I'll bet her percentage is pretty high from that range. And it's the Sparks ball. To the wing, right side. Ball queen. Defended by Stewart. Connects from three-point range. Three points. Yeah, she's had a big half from downtown. And when she gets this hot, the green light does not get much greener. There's a screen. It's Jewel Lloyd with the drive. Clock at six. Outside Wheeler. Fires the three. It's hauled in by the Sparks. Yeah, and ever since halftime, she's been ice cold. Very little going her way out there. The three ball. Another three for the Sparks. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, they're not taking any chances. This is how you close a game out. Just look how happy their coach is. Pass to Stewart. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Shoots the three. The shot that time, not on target. And it's the Sparks the other way. Guarded by Wheeler. Here's Vadiva. The left wing. Again, the Sparks good for two. Stewart with the screen. Looking to end the run. Trills the three-pointer. And so it's the Sparks taking care of business That's in this one. The game. And this one was all over well before the Most final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited Please about, but they never got it. And yeah, I mean, they rolled this one. They made it look simple, an efficient performance at both the offensive and defensive ends. And that's a wrap, everyone.